what's up guys this is um a video i was hoping oh jesus hello uh hoping not to have to make for a while but unfortunately for the first time in my audi r8 uh, i have had a warning light this has popped up epc which apparently is an electronic problem in the engine popped up as we were driving back well this morning and then we drove back from cardiff it says you can drive with the light on if it doesn't put you in limp mode and it could be nothing at all but it could also be something not great so we're just arriving literally right now look at this at the audi dealership and i thought we might as well just go in and see if they can have a quick look at the car so not ideal at all but uh yeah let's see what happens right guys we don't have a lot of time at all because we have a flight in i was about to look an hour uh three hours so we need to leave here in an hour and a half but they're gonna have a quick little look at the car plug it in and see what happens Right, Audi have been super nice. They've given us coffee. They're being really nice and quick. And apparently we will be okay within 15 minutes or something like that. So we've got a Dell to accompany us through this experience and uh, the car's being looked at and fingers crossed, it's nothing bad. Right, so it's nothing bad, really bad, but it's also not nothing. So it's one of the cables which has sort of eroded a bit and apparently with garage queens cars that aren't driven that often like this was for the last uh, little while um, they can start the cables can start eroding so you need we just need to probably replace a cable which is a bit annoying because you need to find the cable which is the problem which can take a while so it's kind of labor expensive but you know in terms of just buying the cable it's not expensive at all so it's not a really expensive part that needs to be replaced um, so yeah, anyways, we just need to find time to do that. It's fine to drive for a little bit now, drive at home, leave at home and then bring it whenever we have the time. So yeah, I think we'll probably continue this video when, uh, when we bring it in next so we can do one video with everything and see what happens. Right, guys, another day for us. Same video for you. We're on our way to uh, the Audi dealership again to try and sort out this EPC problem. So, why don't you hop in on the GoPros, but today is another day of dealing with this bloody EPC problem. Let's go. Tell you what, this bloody EPC problem, it's nothing bad, but it is annoying. Now, we're gonna take it to Audi today again. Hopefully, they can maybe even fix it today, um, or they, uh, they may need to keep the car for a couple of days. So, I'm not too sure, we're gonna see. Um, but it is an issue, but you know, it's nothing too too bad and this is the reality of owning this uh, This kind of car. There's not much you can do about it. These things happen from time to time 2014 car supercar V10 um, It will happen. So Can I go? Yes, I can um, Yeah, anyways, I just wanted to share with you the full full experience of how you sort of get over this stuff afterwards um, but uh, yeah, another annoying side is that it is raining and I had the car cleaned yesterday just to get all the grit off um, from the road trip to Wales. But now it's raining again. So I had the car cleaned and now there's mud on the road and lots of rain. So today's start to today, because it's currently 9 a.m., not the strongest, not gonna lie. Ooh. Navigating London morning traffic is never the easiest thing in the world. Funnily enough, Cole is following in his Audi A2, which is all logoed up with Audi R8 logos. So we're kind of, kind of, going there in a double R8 combo. see what happens and we'll report back hopefully with some news in a tiny bit. And that is when extended warranty comes into hand. So I've got extended warranty until 2020 on the car and uh, this is covered. So that's brilliant. Unless 
there's really something that was drive caused by the driver. But seeing as I've only driven the car like five times and the light just sort of popped on all of a sudden, that seems quite unlikely, but you never know. Um, but yeah, massive thank you to the guys here, West, uh, West London Audi. I was gonna say West Audi London, doesn't make sense. Uh, who have been absolutely lovely. I mean, we literally came in and uh, we were in there for 10 minutes maybe, and now we're off. They're keeping the car. They're gonna call tonight. Maybe we'll be able to pick it up tomorrow. Maybe in a couple of days, we'll see. But uh, I'm gonna end this video here. You've seen the first chapter of this, of this issue. Uh, and the next chapter is gonna be when I pick it up. And I'm gonna tell you exactly, um, what are you giggling at? First chapter of this issue? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Well, I, as in the next chapter, and it is an issue, is us, or, or is us picking the car up. Um, so yeah, we'll be picking this car up hopefully in the next couple of days and we'll be able to explain exactly what happened, uh, why it happened, what it cost to fix it and everything. So we're gonna give you all the information in the next video on this subject. But now we go from one R8 into Cold's R8. Look, let me show you. This is actually exactly the same as mine because look here, it's a V10 as well. And it's got actually a one-off tailgate um, design, as you can see. Uh, yeah, it's aerodynamics, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's an R8 and uh, it's also a one-off because it's the only R8 with a 1.4 litre. So yeah, very cool. Anyways. And also I've obviously put duct tape for aerodynamics so that the lines are more... And it's also you're testing the aerodynamics to see whether the duct tape is, is, is moving the most, is that why? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I see. Um, anyways, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a little like if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already and we'll see you very soon. Cheers, cheers guys. Bye bye.